by the one in whose hand is myself. Definitely the son of Maryam will soon descend among you as a just judge. And he will break the cross, kill the pig, and abolish the jezia, and wealth will be so abundant that no one will accept it. Like all the other prophets, the prophet Jesus is a chosen servant charged by God with calling people to the true path. However, the most important characteristic which sets the prophet Jesus apart from the other prophets is the fact that he will return to earth. Contrary to what many people think, the prophet Jesus was not killed by being crucified. The fact that he was not killed is made crystal clear in the Quran, and we are told that God raised him to his presence. In no verse is there any reference to the Prophet Jesus dying or being killed. And on account of their saying, we kill the Messiah, Isa, son of Maryam, messenger of God. They did not kill him, and they did not crucify him, but it was made to seem so to them. Those who argue about him are in doubt about it. They have no real knowledge of it, just conjecture, but they certainly did not kill him. God raised him up to himself. God is almighty, all-wise. The truth revealed by God in this verse is clear. Incited by the Jews, the Romans attempted to kill the prophet Jesus, but were unsuccessful. The prophet Jesus was not killed. God raised him up into his presence. In addition, certain information given about the Prophet Jesus in the Quran may possibly come about in only one way, with the return of the Prophet Jesus to earth. The verse to contain indications that the Prophet Jesus will come to earth a second time is the 55th verse of the third surah. When God said, Isa, I will take you back and raise you up to me and purify you of those who disbelieve, and I will place the people who follow you above those who disbelieve until the day of rising. Then you will all return to me, and I will judge between you regarding the things about which you differed. The expression, I will place the people who follow you above those who disbelieve until the day of rising in the verse refers to a situation that has never yet been experienced. According to this, this must be a society which abides by the Prophet Jesus and will live until doomsday. Such a society can only emerge with the return of the Prophet Jesus to earth. Those who follow him during that return will be made superior to the disbelievers until doomsday. In verse 159 of Surah 4, God gives us very important information about the situation of the Prophet Jesus. There is not one of the people of the book who will not believe in him before he dies, and on the day of rising he will be a witness against them. According to the verse, there must be a time when all Christians and Jews believe in the Prophet Jesus. This never happened when the Prophet Jesus was alive. 
So in that case, the Prophet Jesus will return to earth, and this, like everything else foretold in the Quran, will come to pass. All Christians and Jews would believe in the Prophet Jesus. There is a great deal of information in the Quran about the Prophet Jesus being sent back to earth. Moreover, tidings of this extraordinary event are given in many of the hadiths of the Prophet, and we are told that in the end times, the period when the Prophet Jesus will be sent, all the earth will be full of peace, justice, and well-being. This second coming will take place during the time of the Mehdi, and he and the Prophet Jesus will continue their struggle together. When the Prophet Jesus returns, he will do away with superstitions which are outside the essence of Christianity, such as the belief in the Trinity and monasticism. In one of the hadiths, our Prophet said, He will certainly descend to earth. He will call people to Islam. At that time, God will do away with all religions except for Islam. 